Hi, this is uh, Victor from Apply. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a Gantt chart, so a, a visual representation of a project plan. And this video is a follow-up to the video I did before about how you can work with uh, project management using um, AI. So if you haven't seen that video, maybe you should go back and watch that first so that we are on the same page. And this is the page we are on, um, because this is the project plan where we left off before. So we have our overall uh, project plan here, um, and then we have our more specific uh, timeline of the project here with some different project phases. But in order to make like a good uh, Gantt chart with a lot of things in the project, maybe we should have like a, a few more um, tasks in this project. So what I'm going to do is just to uh, select the, the table here and select the project description again as well. And then I'll add a little uh, command over here in the, in the create from function, which again, takes the text that we have selected in the document and then does something to it depending on what we what we write here. So what I'll write this time is um, create uh, a table with uh, specific tasks within each project phase. Uh, make the columns project phase specific task. Um, the responsible doesn't really matter for this uh, Gantt chart, so we can just leave that out and then we'll write a duration in, in days and a start date. And then we're just going to click the create from on that and then uh, let it load a little bit. We can uh, scroll down in the, in the meantime to, to see where we would paste it. And while it's loading, I'll maybe... Uh, Go down to a new page we have some space and then it has created a table here so we're just going to, to copy that here and paste that into our document yes so at least here we have some um you know a table with some more specific tasks within each project phase so that that looks really good that was exactly what we needed um and um in order to turn this into a gantt chart we'll turn into uh, and start using chat gpt instead of docs gpt in principle, you could actually do this in DocsGPT because it has many of the same capabilities, but we're going to work with some code and um, Google Docs and DocsGPT was not made for working with code. So ChatGPT is, is better for that. So we'll move into that. And um, ChatGPT is, at least as of now, not able to create images or, or graphs um, or graphics in general, but it is really good at creating code. So we're going to utilize this um, in this way. Um, by using something called uh, Mermaid JS, and that is a little tool um, that enables the user to create uh, graphics, diagrams, and, and graphs um, by writing JavaScript code. Um, so we can maybe uh, enter that here in a new tab. We go into Mermaid, and then there is a version of it that you can play around with at mermaid.live. So we're going into that here, and as you see, there is like a part here where you write some code, and then over here. Um, it has the graphic. So if I, instead of uh, iPhone, I write uh, Android, it changes the, the text down here. So that's how it works. And then I'm going to just uh, move my face a little bit here to the right side instead. And then um, down here in sample diagrams, um, I think this is some kind of a flow diagram, but what we wanted to do is a Gantt chart. So I'll pick that here and then it changes here. So you see Here's a Gantt chart, and this is the code that's needed for that. So that, that looks about right. That is what we're going to work with. But we are not going to uh, write the code. We'll let uh, ChatGPT do that. So what we'll then do is um, open up ChatGPT to, to work with that. I have that in a different window here. Um, and then uh, ChatGPT is, is really amazing. Uh, of course, you know that if you've tried it. Um, and it gets much better the more specific we are. So we're going to be try to be very specific on what we would like it to do here. So first I'll just write um, create a Gantt uh, chart for my project using mermaid.js. So, I mean, we could actually send this to ChatGPT and if we were lucky, we would get some kind of a useful code back um, but to increase our chances of, of being lucky with this, we can also try to be a bit more specific and give it, give it an example of what we would like. So here I'm going to, um, to just write, um, this is how 
mermaid.js creates a Gantt chart. Then a line break, maybe two. And then I'm going to take um, the code from mermaid.js. So um, the code we have up here, where we like know that this code will create the Gantt chart we see here. So I'm just going to select that and uh, copy it, and then go back to uh, ChatGPT, and then just paste it here. Yes, this looks right. And then of course we also need to um, add our some information about our project, and then we'll say this is a table with my project plan. And then we go into uh, back into Google Docs. There we are. We simply just uh, select our whole table here. There we go. And uh, also copy that back into ChatGPT and then just paste that here. Yes. And then we'll just send this matches to, to ChatGPT and see what we get. It clearly understood the task. And as you see here, it tries to use the same uh, format as uh, the code I provided in the example, but with our project in it. So we get some code here. Maybe it's a little bit advanced to, um, to look it through, but we can just uh, copy it and then go back into um, mermaid.js. Here we are. And then we'll just uh, delete the code we had here and instead uh, paste our new code. Oh, yeah, in all. And here we actually have a, a Gantt chart with our project plan. So this, this looks about right. Um, we can just go into full screen if we wanted to check if it actually looks about right. Um, yes, I would say so. This is sort of our plan. And then we can close this again. And then what you could then do is to go here into uh, actions and then either yeah, copy the image to clipboard, download it as a PNG file, then you have it in probably a quite high resolution. Or something that's really smart is to download it as an SVG file. Um, if you download it like that and um, insert it into PowerPoint, you will actually be able to work with it as a normal um, shape in PowerPoint. So you can change the colors and move it a bit around if you want that. That is pretty cool. That was all on how you can create uh, Gantt charts um, using ChatGPT and Mermaid, but it was ChatGPT who wrote the whole code. And as you see here, like there are many other um, diagrams uh, you can uh, create in mermaid.js. So um, yeah, try to play around with that if you have uh, any ideas of, of some cool use cases for that. That's all from Lisa from Apply.